Okay, so one thing we haven't included in this, we, haven't, we didn't include things like photons, because you know, we were interested in massive particles. Um, photons, there's about, again, from the cosmic microwave background radiation, we know that there's about 10 billion photons for every uh, baryon, so there's a lot more photons. Um, the other thing we didn't include is we only focused on a... Um, we only focused on a tiny fraction of the universe because we didn't talk about the dark universe. So the fraction of baryons is about f just less than 5% of the, the overall energy budget. 95% um, is made up of dark matter and dark energy. We don't really know what that is. So I wasn't going to try and do a calculation of how many dark matter particles there are or dark energy particles. That's not even a thing. But um, We'll have to start making humans it, out of dark matter. <laughs> yeah, clearly, right? If we run out, of, <laughs> run out of time. But, you know, so this is... Uh, so there's a whole bunch of stuff that we could have added to the game. Of course, the universe, of course, is much bigger than, um, than, than you know, the size of the observable universe. Or it could be much bigger. So uh, there's stuff you know, there. I thought but, it was infinite. What do you mean it's bigger? Like, well, we don't know it's infinite. We don't, we don't know it's infinite. It needn't be infinite. It could be one ginormous sphere, right? So, um, you know, we can't rule that out. <laughs> could, could it be infinite? Okay, it could be. Mathematically, it could be. I, I don't think it... Is I, I just don't like infinities, Brady. I just uh, so I I think it's a ginormous sphere, <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, so I, when I, I just don't reckon it's an, uh, uh, anything other than a sphere. But uh, you know, we may be proven wrong about that. Data may may say otherwise. Yeah. So obviously we did a lot of physics in this video, and if you really like the physics and you're interested in the physics, then you should also watch uh, our sixty symbols channel, where you know me and my colleagues talk about physics. It's vast, you know, and it's kind of, I think it's crazy to think that, you know, it's so big and yet we're looking at something so small. And of course, you would always have the sun between you and the earth, which means that actually if you wanted to communicate with the earth, it would be a bit of a pain. But if you wanted, for example, one hypothesized use for L3 is if you wanted to predict when there were solar storms coming around, it would be very useful to be able to look at kind of the far side of the sun.